welcome again, Mark Stone, to Tintley Van Llanfair Vechan, and you've brought us another motor to test. We have today the new Fiat Fullback 4x4 double cab LX specification. So what do you think it'll be like on the carnet eyes behind us? The only thing we can do is give it a chance. Uh, a lot of these vehicles are meant for, shall we say, like this type of work, field work, rough tracks, things like that. There are people who will work them hard, yeah. but if you work out what they were designed for, it's more lowland, midland stuff, feels, like, feels things like that. When the tough gets going, at times some of these vehicles struggle. But how Fiat's fullback will go on, I honestly don't know. The only thing we can do is take it for a blast and see how it goes. Let's head for the hills. No problem. So I come up here every day. Did you find that a little bit challenging, Mac? It's, if you look at this rutted road, or rutted track, by virtue of the fact, as you said, you've been coming up here every day, and you guys have been here for 350 years, so I shouldn't <laughs> imagine you're the first one to come up here every day in a four-wheel drive. The ruts are quite severe, the undulations are quite severe. Um, it maybe doesn't have the ground clearance of, say, a specialist Land Rover, but this is a standard out of the showroom vehicle, yeah. and it's come up this track. It's, I mean, it's come quite up quite a lot of track like this to get to this far. It hasn't really struggled. I've been driving it in four wheel drive, high ratio, with the diffs locked off. It's made it a lot better. I mean, the one thing that does handicap this ever so slightly, yeah. uh, as I said, the Toyo tyres. So for a compromised tyre, it's done all right. It's it? done extremely well yeah. coming up here. What we now have to find out is, <laughs> is it going to go up there? Have you got a clean pair of undies? That's what I want to know. Hey, I don't. I don't need them. I don't need them. No <laughs> problem whatsoever. <laughs> Let's go. So, Mark, we've made it to the top of the mountain. Yes. 800 feet from down there to the top of your mountain and apparently according to you we're parked in the middle of a Celtic village <laughs> I dare say the Celts never expected a Fiat's fullback to make an appearance one day Well to be honest with you I wasn't expecting to make it to the top here with this machine Very it's, impressed It's not staggeringly hard going compared to what certain 4 before 4s will do but it's no lightweight A lot of the uh, soft roadies wouldn't make it through the first gate No the great thing about Fiat's fullback is it's DNA and heritage. We all know what it is. Yeah. And given the tyres it's on, it's done extremely well. With more aggressive tyres, it will do, well, it's not so much it will do better, it will be easier for the vehicle. But yes, to a degree, it surprised me. It's proven itself to be an extremely capable piece of machinery. And it is the number one and very first to win out over Gareth's Mountain Challenge, <laughs> which we couldn't say about the previous one that shall remain nameless. But I think that we should bring a few more 4x4s up here and give them the Gareth Wynn Jones Mountain Challenge. I've got to put my hand on my heart and say, I'm impressed with this because I did not think you were going to make it to the top of my hill today. You don't have a lot of confidence in my driving, <laughs> do you, Tom? But as you said, the one thing about this, this is the LX specification. It's all leather inside. It's sat now, infotainment screen. It's a good hi-fi to drive. Absolutely phenomenal on the roads. Driving down here today, this morning, 43 to the gallon at one point. Just good, steady away, lovely and smooth, lovely and quiet. It's just like driving a car with a decent ride height. But as soon as we get onto your tracks, Where's it do, or what's it do? Gets itself up 800 feet yeah. on top of your very own mountain, Mr. Wynne Jones. Yeah. <laughs> From there to here. Without getting stuck. Without, without getting wheels, stuck. Without wheels spinning as well. No it's wheels done, spinning, no you know, nothing. It's done really, really well, I'm impressed. And can I also say, it's been lesson number two in my teaching you how to drive a Ford before. Oh! <laughs> I'm driving down. <laughs> Get out of it! No, you're not. Bring it one feet back. What do they? <laughs> Come on, Jack. Well, Gareth, it says here, Fiat Professional. 
And the one thing I will say about the fullback, it has proven itself to live up to its name for your professional. I'm very, very impressed with what it's just done and where it's just been. Because where it's just been is way back up there. I mean, phenomenal thing. I mean, I certainly wouldn't like to have to walk up there. <laughs> <laughs> I can say, farmer friendly, really impressed. I didn't think we were going to make it. So I just can't wait now for you to bring another vehicle. I can't say what it is at the moment, but as soon as I know what 4 before I'll be arriving back down with, you'll be the first to know. Are we going to do the mountain challenge? We're going to do the Gareth's mountain challenge each and every time we get a serious 4 before around us. Sounds good to me. Great stuff. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Cheers, Gareth. <laughs>